Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at techniques of hard engineering river management. What is hard engineering? Rivers must be managed to prevent flooding, and they can be managed by using either hard or soft engineering. Hard engineering is a construction of flood defences by using physical materials in order to try and manage the river. It doesn't have to specifically require physical materials, but it does have to require physical manipulation of landscapes in order to be able to protect the river. So this will then limit the damage of flooding. The first technique is the most obvious, and this is a dam. These are blockades built into the river. What you can see now is a dam. They have gates that can open and close on command, so it lets water flow through the river to the other side at a regulated rate. So what this means is that the gate can then open and close, water can flow in and flow out on the other end. So this manages levels of discharge, because if we close the gates, there's not going to be much discharge in the part of the river which will then be flowing onwards. As a result, if perhaps there is too much rain and that levels of discharge increase on the end of the river which we don't want there to be much water in, naturally, if we were to not have the um, dam at all, that area would flood. However, if we can stop the flow of water from one end of the river to the other, this is going to decrease the amount of discharge which would actually be in the river, hence being able to manage the effect of the flood. We can also build levees. Now, we looked at a video earlier on the construction of levees, but these are actually physically built levees using different materials. The height of the floodplain can be increased by building these levees. So either it can be dumping material um, perhaps such as uh, gravel or clay and crafted into a kind of defense in order to raise the level of the actual bank. So this is called the levee which we've looked at earlier and when the discharge increases it's going to be harder for the water to actually flood onto the land because it's going to have to increase even more and have an even higher discharge in order to surpass the levee. So this is what it does. As you can see, the discharge of the river should actually go onto the land. But if we build this, le this levee, the discharge isn't going to be able to get onto the land because it's being blocked. So as a result, there is no flooding. Diversion spillways. This is made to direct the flow elsewhere. So these are basically man-made channels that are going to branch off as distributaries in the river. So you can see it here. Originally, the river is going to flow forwards and the black spots indicate the areas where extra diversion spillways have been created, the man-made channels. So we have the river flowing through the middle. The channels are controlled by gates, which open and close. When discharge increases, they're going to open and allow the flow to go elsewhere, hence increasing the amount of discharge flowing through that channel. In total, now because we have the river flowing through two different channels, the levels of discharge in the original channel are going to decrease. So, for example, we can open this gate and have more of the water direct through there. So the total amount of levels of discharge in the original channel is going to decrease. River straightening. This occurs when the river is going to be made straighter. Man-made material is deposited by its banks to prevent the river from meandering. So as a result, the direction of flow is completely straight, 180 degrees. This will then increase the velocity of the river and the rate of water exiting the channel will be greater than that of its inputs. So this will decrease the risk of flooding. So here we have a meandering river with the flow going through it. If we change this to a completely straight river, you can see that there's going to be less water that's going to be flowing through it because it's going to be exiting the channel at a greater rate because the river is faster. Dredging. This is the deepening of the channel. It increases the river's capacity, which then reduces the discharge. So for example, here we have a standard river bed. As you can see, we can now have some water flowing through it. What we can do though, is deepen the channel even more, and then we can have even more water flow through it. So it's going to require a lot more water in order to surpass the river's ability to be able to flood. Here are some questions on hard engineering. Have a go at answering these by pausing the video and writing them down on another sheet of paper. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be a case study on hard engineering, the Three Gorges Dam. As always, thank you for watching and good luck in your exams. I'll see you next time.